Greetings and welcome to this video on updating your TMS FileMaker admin console to your brand new FileMaker 19 server. I'm Taylor Sharp, your presenter with TMS Software and we're glad to have you here. Okay, we're going to start off with a few assumptions that we have here. First is that you've already installed your FileMaker 19 server successfully but have not installed the SSL certificate. That's okay. I'm going to also assume that you've installed your FileMaker Pro 19 client that we're going to use here to uh, connect and that you're ready to upload the TMS uh, FileMaker admin console and get it working. So let's start with our process here. We're going to start off on our web page at tms.us and we're going to click on the contact us here. This is going to take you over to where we can download the uh, admin console. There are a number of different templates here, but the one we're going to work on is this FileMaker Admin Console 19. We're going to click on the download here, and you can give your name or not. If you want to remain anonymous, feel free to remain anonymous. You just won't get any update notices from us if you don't provide us an email. But I'll put my name here for us, and we appreciate that so I'll start the download here and here comes our download I'm going to download this here and we're going to hit close and now that we've done that we can um, go over to our downloads uh, folder and we can see that we have um, downloaded the admin console here and we are ready to uh, work with it and upload it to the server so you can rename it if you want to something else but the first thing you have to do is before you upload it to the server you need to make sure you set the admin console password for the admin account if you don't it won't open on the server so let's open this up locally not on the server locally and you'll get this warning here if you're on the same machine but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to manage security and we're going to go to the um, admin account here and we're going to give it a password. You need to give it some type of password. So we will give it some type of password here and we will say OK and we will confirm that password and now we can close the admin console and it is ready to be uploaded to the server. So let's open our FileMaker Pro uh, client uh, on your machine here. It can be opened on the server or another machine, doesn't matter. And when we come into here, we're going to say let's uh, upload to host our uh, file that our admin console that should be all ready for us. So I'm going to connect to our server. You will get a warning because remember your SSL certificate hasn't been installed yet. So we will say that's okay. Yes, we were expecting that. And I will give us a password here that will get us in. And we are now ready to drag that admin console on here, ready to upload here. So um, it already exists on the server here. So I've already put it up there. But if you hadn't, uh, you would be able to hit the upload and it would upload. And as soon as it finishes uploading, you're now available to get to it uh, on your server directly. So the next step is, now that we have the admin console on your server, we also need to add the base elements plugin both to the server and to the um, uh, client, your FileMaker Pro client. So we have to go to baseelementsplugin.zendesk.com. This is Goya's a uh, free plugin that you can use that uh, we will need uh, for certain functions. Uh, you don't absolutely have to use uh, this plugin with the admin console, but certain things like the generating the SSL certificate will not work without it. So, highly recommend it. Be aware that the very latest version they have right now has a problem with a signed certificate, so it's not working. I'm sure Nick and the Goya people will fix it uh, shortly, but uh, in the interim, uh, you can download the 32-bit version uh, right now at Windows. The Mac version is what we're on, but the 3.3.8 version uh, works. So um, try the, the newest version. If it doesn't work, download the 3.3.8, uh, and I know it'll work. And so after you do the download, uh, you will now see um, that uh, plug-in will now be in your downloads folder. And once we have it in the downloads folder, 
Uh, let's see. I don't see it there, so let's uh, go download it again. So here we go. Mac version. Download. Downloading. Almost done. There we go. Okay, so there's our 3.3.8 plugin. So we can now copy this uh, plugin. And now we need to go to um, your FileMaker server folder that's going to be in your library. Op you know, it's going to be whatever your hard drive is, library and FileMaker server. And then we're going to click on uh, database server and extensions. And we're going to paste the base elements plugin right here. So paste that in there and you'll be good to go there for the server. That takes care of the server version of it. You also need to go to your FileMaker Pro client. Uh, go to the preferences and you need to go to plugins and we need to add the base elements plugin here too so we can say reveal the plugins folder this will reveal the plugins folder which is empty and I can now paste that base elements plugin and we are good to go now so we will need to quit FileMaker Pro for that plugin to load so I'll quit it and we'll load it back up and once I load it back up here, we'll go to Preferences, and in Preferences, we'll look under Plugins, and voila, there's our Base Elements plugin, 3.3.8. So that'll work for us now. Okay, now we need to go back to our server. We need to log in there, and um, we need to turn on our plugin. And so we are going to go over here to our plugins and we're going to make sure that our plugins are turned on so uh, when you come here the plugin is going to be turned off like this you first have to turn all your plugins in because when you first come to the server it's going to look like this and so you need to say turn on uh, the scripting engine so that it'll work with plugins and then you need to turn on the base elements plugin and I have another plugin I use you won't have that but Turn on the base elements plugin and you should be good to go right away. You don't have to restart your server or anything like that. You are good to go. So let's go back um, and we will open up our FileMaker Pro client. And we are going to uh, open our database or to our connection to our server and see our, our plugins there. And there's going to be one of the files that you're going to have on here. If you've just installed FileMaker 19, all you'll see is that uh, FileMaker server sample and the admin console that we updated but if not you'll, you might see some other files like you see here on on mine so we will click this to say open it this is where you'll put your admin user ID and password in and voila you are now uh, got the admin console open but we need to connect this admin console to the admin API of your server so you need to put the domain name of your server in uh, if you don't have a domain name for your server, then you won't have an SSL certificate. So I guess at this point you should have already realized if you have an SSL certificate that you needed a domain. If all you have is an IP, this doesn't work. So if you don't have a domain, you need to buy the domain and then you need to buy an SSL certificate, which is a separate purchase. So um, I'm going to type in my domain name here and I'm going to put my password in. And then I'm going to say uh, we are ready to log in. So if we log in, if it stays white like this, that means we logged in and we're good. Uh, if it's not, you can come check out the plugins right here. This will give us warnings if either of these, either the client or the server plugin didn't uh, load, you would have a big red around these things warning to let you know that you need to go to the base elements plugin site and download the plugin and install it. So hopefully you were successful in doing that. So now we're going to come over here to install our SSL certificate. So to install a certificate, we have to first create a certificate signing request from your FileMaker server, and then we have to give it to you, the company that you that is providing the SSL certificate, and they will then return a certificate for you to install here, and you will be good to go. So we're going to click on the SSL CSR requirements here, and this is where you have to put your information in about your particular server. So that happens to be the name of mine. I'm going to put my company name in. 
Um, it asks for department or unit. If you're part of a big corporation and you're in marketing or something like that, you can put whatever name in. If you don't have anything, I usually just put FileMaker in here. And then we can collect, uh, connect. I'm in the United States, so I'll click the U.S. And then we need to put the city name you're in, so spell it out. And then and spell out the state name if you're in the United States. Don't use the abbreviations. And this is going to create a password for you, or you can reset the password to whatever you want it to be. So I'll just make it for simple purposes, FileMaker here. But at this point here, we're going to generate a certificate signing request. Uh, if we're on the server, you can do it on the server, or you can do it locally if you're happening to use the same machine. So I am, so I've clicked to create it locally. And here is our certificate sign in request command. Now we need to go take this command and copy it, and we need to now go uh, open uh, the terminal. So that's going to be in your utilities folder. So if you uh, uh, aren't familiar with that, you'll need to go to Applications, down to Utilities, and open up Terminal. So we're now in Terminal, and we've copied that command. So all we have to do is paste that command and press Return. And it's going to now ask for our Web Admin Console password. So I will put that in. Uh, uh, user ID, Username, and now we have generated a certificate signing request. We can now click here to paste the CSR down here. So we now have the CSR that I can copy. This is what will go over to GoDaddy. Uh, I'll click here to save the CSR to my downloads folder. So that is now uh, in my downloads folder. If I come back over here, downloads, we can see there's our server key has now been saved there. So we can now go over to GoDaddy and we're going to go to SSL certificates. And when we get to the SSL certificates, here's the one that uh, we're going to reissue. So I'm going to click on it to manage it. We're going to come up here and say, let's rekey this certificate. So we're going to rekey the certificate. We're going to paste the CSR in here. And we're going to hit save. And it is going to start hit to submit the changes. And it's going to begin uh, reissuing the certificate. This takes a little while to to happen. I click back on all up here and what we will do is we will watch uh, up here for the pending verification and when the pending verification ends we will continue uh, installing the certificate. Now that the certificate has been reissued we can now go click on the certificate that we want to be reissued here. We're going to go uh, to the downloads and we're going to now download this to our a folder so we're going to download uh, other type we're going to hit download and it now has downloaded to our um, downloads folder so here's where it got downloaded to it gives the first uh, through the first period of the name of whatever your domain name is so this mine is filemaker.tailormadeservices.com so it just put the filemaker there and uh, we also have our server key which I'm going to put in the same folder so that we've got uh, all of these in the same folder of the downloads folder or installing it onto the server. So we come back to the server and we're going into the configuration and then down to the SSL certificates and we're going to import the certificate. And we're going to say uh, click right here to get the certificate to import. So if we're in downloads, here's the folder that we're in. And the very first one, first CRT file is going to be the certificate. It's going to be the one that begins with a three. Uh, we're going to uh, attach the private key. The private key is server key dot key. So we'll click on it. And um, the sometimes you actually need to go back to the server to get it uh, server C store. So if you want to do that too, you can click and go into your um, library FileMaker server and C store. And this is the same server key right here, just to make sure you've got the right server key. And then you can also click on the intermediate certificate, which is back in our downloads folder in this folder right here. This is the one that begins GD underscore bundle. That'll be the certificate uh, being the intermediate file. And then, of course, we have to put that uh, password in. This is the FileMaker password for the certificate. 
we'll click import and it says it has been imported successfully so now we have an SSL certificate imported and you are good to go uh, I hope this helps you in uh, using the FileMaker admin console and getting things to work if you got any questions let us know visit us at www.tms.us have a good day